Hi guys, my name is Tati Bruning and I'm here today on b hs YouTube channel and I'm going to be talking about five must-know tips for photographers to use social media. Let's jump right into it. Tip number one is when you're posting to Instagram, Instagram has a very, very specific format for how photos are gonna appear. So don't crop them at a square, don't crop them wide. If you keep them at that five by seven, it'll have the most engagement and you'll get the most amount of likes on your post. Tip number two, guys, is when you go to make an Instagram reel or a TikTok video, remember who your audience is. So most, most often, your video is going to be appearing to the general TikTok audience rather than just a group of photographers. So if you're going to be making educational content, it's very important to remember to keep things really brief and make them very digestible for the average person. And the best example I, I, that I like to give to this is most people aren't gonna know a lot about light modifiers and really complicated things like strobes, which aren't complicated to us, but to the average person, you're gonna need to break those things down and explain them very, very thoroughly, as if you were explaining to a five-year-old. Not that any five-year-olds should be on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, but you guys get what I mean. So tip number three, guys, is when you want to make a video about your photography, come up with creative ideas in order to display it or come up with photo shoots in their entirety just to do video content. So sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I'm making a TikTok video that includes photography, more so than going to set, doing a photo shoot, and then filming and trying to make something of it. So I'll specifically plan some photo shoots just for video content that kind of have like a wacky theme to it or some sort of approachable, nice way to display photography that's quite relatable. So for example, if you get a new piece of gear that you really, really wanna test out, schedule a photo shoot surrounding that piece of equipment and test it out just for a TikTok video. It needs, you can just do it casually. It doesn't need to be a big affair, like you're going to set that day and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars just to make a photo. It can be something chill and casual. And honestly, that's what people on social media like to see anyways. Tip number four is to be anywhere and everywhere. And what I mean by that is there's so many different platforms that you as a photographer can take advantage of and post on every single day. There's Instagram, there's TikTok, you can even do Twitter. I'm not a huge fan of Twitter, but there's a lot of photographers on Twitter that market their work on there. You can even use Snapchat to show your daily life as a photographer. And even you can create a Discord server where you can stay in touch with your photography community that you're creating online. Because the most important thing about social media is to be able to foster a community of people that are going to follow your work and that you are going to be educating throughout your process of photography. So try and stay in touch with your following as much as possible. I highly recommend keeping in touch via Instagram group chats or Discord or some way of doing that because you can also host fun things like giveaways or photo challenges and you can just keep everybody in the loop. Tip number five is to be posting almost every single day. It's very important to be either posting a photo, a reel, any sort of video content, or even just stories. Because when people see your work more often, or even your face more often, they're reminded of what a great photographer you probably are. And therefore, you're probably gonna book more jobs. So the more free content that you're putting out, the more likely that you're gonna be at the front of their heads, therefore booking more paid jobs. And that's all I got for you today, guys. Really, really quick and easy. You know, social media is a little bit scary to us photographers when we're just starting out, but I promise you, once you get in the groove of things, it's gonna be a lot more simple than you think it's gonna be. So you can find me and ask me questions on Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Uh, my handle is at Illumitati, so that's I-L-L-U-M-I-T-A-T-I. -L -L -I -I. And then on TikTok, it's Illumitatiana, so just add an A-N-A -A at the end of that. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.